major winter storm in northern United States has left 3,500 flights grounded, multiple interstate highways closed. Chicago's O'Hare Airport and Denver International Airport were among the major airports hit with delays and cancellations. The storm battered the upper Midwest states with extreme wind and snow, forcing hundreds of schools to close. It uh, started snowing last night. The weather the entire time we were here was rather mild up until today. And a uh, big temperature drop, uh, quite a bit of snow. And the roads were a little messy on the way here. We were here in Denver for my husband to interview for a pilot job with a major airline. So I think that's uh, kind of funny that we've experienced these types of delays. Uh, when that's what he's looking into getting into now as a career. According to the National Weather Service, wind speed of up to 97 kilometers along with 60 centimeters of snow is expected to pummel the region for the next two days. The storm has also produced a band of freezing rain from central Iowa to Chicago, coating trees and power lines in half a centimeter of ice. The storm also deposited sleets on most roads and highways, creating dangerous conditions for motorists. A 320-kilometer stretch of the Interstate 40 connecting central Arizona to New Mexico has now been shut down. Experts have also forecast many crucial power lines and substations to be hampered, leading to rolling power outages in the region. According to meteorologists, the growing frequency of such storms along with extreme weather phenomena are symptomatic of worsening climate change. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.